Imagine this, you're not just watching machines learn, you're teaching them. Not in a sterile lab, not with a PhD, but in your bedroom, at your desk, fueled by curiosity and coffee. This isn't a pipe dream, this is your first step into the world of machine learning. A world where models learn from data, and soon they start predicting the future. Sounds dramatic? Good, because the first model you build could change how you see the world and how it sees you. What is machine learning, and why should you care? Before you touch a single line of code, before you feed your model even a bite of data, let's answer the question everyone's too shy to ask. What exactly is machine learning, and what makes it so powerful and so addictive? What is machine learning really? At its core, machine learning is teaching a computer to learn from data instead of telling it exactly what to do. In traditional programming, you give the computer a list of rules. In machine learning, you give it examples, and the computer figures out the rules on its own. Let's break it down. Input, model, output. You feed in data, the model analyzes patterns, and spits out predictions or classifications. The more data it gets, the smarter it becomes. It's like training a dog, but instead of teaching it to sit, you're teaching a model to recognize spam emails, or tumors in x-rays, or whether the next move in chess is genius or a mistake. Real world magic everywhere. Look around. Machine learning is already shaping the world. That Netflix suggestion you loved? Machine learning. Your iPhone unlocking with your face? Machine learning. Google Maps rerouting based on traffic spikes? You guessed it. Machine learning. Fraud detection on your credit card? Machine learning models trained on billions of data points. But here's the twist. You don't need a PhD to join the party anymore. With free tools, open source libraries, and data sets galore, you can build a working model in hours, not years. Let's define the beginner's guide. So what exactly are we doing in this guide? We're taking a complete beginner, someone with basic Python skills or even zero experience, and walking through. What kinds of machine learning models exist? How to prepare data and why that step is 80% of the work. Which tools and frameworks make your life easier? How to build your first real working model and how to avoid the most common rookie mistakes. But we're not stopping at dry theory. We'll build something together because nothing sticks like doing. Busting the myth of complexity. You might be thinking, but I'm not a math person or I don't have a computer science background. Here's the truth. Machine learning is not about complexity. It's about mindset. If you can break a problem into steps, understand a few basic concepts, and keep experimenting, you can do this. We'll show you how even the world's top ML engineers started with just one working model. You only need one too to start. What you need to get started. Before we go further, here's your beginner toolkit. Number one, Python. The unofficial language of AI. Friendly, readable, and powerful. Number two, a notebook environment. Use Google Colab. It's free, requires no installation, and comes with powerful GPUs to run your code. Number three, libraries to know. Pandas for data handling, NumPy for crunching numbers, Scikit-learn, your new best friend for building models, Matplotlib, Seaborn for visualizing your results. The three major types of ML, and which one you'll use first. Not all ML models are the same. Here's the high-level map. Supervised learning. You feed the model labeled data, input, with known output. Examples, spam detection, house price prediction. Ideal for beginners. Unsupervised learning. No labels, just raw data. The model finds hidden patterns, like customer clusters in marketing. Reinforcement learning. Like training a dog, rewards and penalties. Used in gaming, robotics, cool but complex for beginners. Our focus in this series, supervised learning, the most intuitive, most visual, and easiest to deploy. Your first model, a sneak peek. By the end of this journey, we'll build a model that predicts house prices based on location, size, and features. Why this example? Because it's visual. You can see predictions shift as data changes. It's relatable. You've seen housing prices explode. It's the perfect playground to understand concepts like linear regression, feature engineering, overfitting, accuracy versus precision, wrap up, the beginning of a new mindset. Machine learning isn't magic, it's logic, data, and a touch of patience. You're not just going to learn how models work, you're going to build one from scratch. 
the kind of model that sees patterns, makes predictions, and introduces you to a whole new way of thinking. So, plug in, power up, because in the next segment, we get our hands dirty. We'll choose a data set, explore it like detectives, clean it like chefs, and prep it for our model like engineers. The machine is ready to learn. The question is, are you? Data detective to model builder. We've learned what machine learning is. Now let's don our detective hats. In this segment, we explore data, clean its quirks, engineer powerful features, train a model, evaluate it, and even demo it live. Ready to see a model learn? Let's go. Number one, choosing your data set, the starting point. Your data set is your teacher. For beginners, a tabular problem like house price prediction is ideal, intuitive, visual, and manageable. You can grab a CSV from Kaggle or a public repository, upload it to Google Colab, no install hassles, and prepare to investigate. Two. Exploratory data analysis, uncovering clues. EDA is detective work. You inspect data, shape, types, missing values, distributions, correlations, and outliers. For instance, data shape and types. How many rows? Which columns? Numeric versus categorical. Distributions. Is price skewed? Plot histograms. Correlations. Does square footage or neighborhood align with price? Heat maps reveal strong signals. Outliers and anomalies. Spot impossible values. Zero price, future, year built, and flag them. This stage teaches you the data story and potential pitfalls before modeling. Three, data cleaning. From messy to reliable. Cleaning is 80% of the work. Address missing values. Drop small gaps, impute medians or unknown, correct erroneous entries, future years, negative sizes, standardize formats, for example, three bed versus three bedrooms, tackle outliers, decide whether to remove or cap extreme values. Embrace this process. It ensures your model learns from trustworthy data. Four, feature engineering, crafting signals. Transform raw columns into features the model loves. Examples, house age, current year, Year built often correlates with price. Size per room. Normalizes living area by bedroom count. Binary flags. Garage, one zero. Pool, one zero. Location encoding. One hot for a manageable number of neighborhoods. Group rare ones into other. Interaction terms. Combine features if domain knowledge suggests synergy. Effective feature engineering often yields larger performance gains than switching algorithms. Five, train test split, fair evaluation. Split data into training and test sets, for example, 80-20. The model learns on training data and is evaluated on unseen test data. In code, train test split. Think of test data as the final exam, no peaking during training. Six, first model, baseline and metrics. Start simple with linear regression. Evaluate with mean absolute error, MAE, and root mean squared error, RMSE, on test set. Suppose MAE is $25,000 on average, $200,000 houses, a 12.5% error. Not bad for a first pass. This baseline tells us if the problem is tractable or needs more work. Seven, iteration, from baseline to better. Now iterate. Try other models, random forest, gradient boosting, XG boost. Swap with minimal code. Hyperparameter tuning, use grid search CV or randomized search CV to find optimal settings. Cross validation, K fold ensures robustness beyond one train test split. Eight, visualizing results, insights for next steps. Plot predicted versus actual prices. Ideal along Y equals X, deviations highlight errors. Residual analysis uncovers biases. Feature importance from tree-based models shows which features drive predictions. Learning curves reveal overfitting or underfitting. These visuals guide you. Reduce complexity if overfitting. Add features or data if underfitting. You've journeyed from data detective to building and evaluating a model, learned from experts, and glimpsed future frontiers. Now, make it real. Try the notebook. Check the link in the description to a CoLab notebook with our example dataset and code. Tweak features, run different models, and see how your results change. Share your learnings. Comment below, what challenge surprised you most? How did you solve a data cleaning puzzle or choose between models? Your insights help fellow beginners. Subscribe for deep dives. Hit subscribe and ring the bell for more tutorials.
advanced deep learning, ML ops pipelines, real world case studies, and interviews with ML leaders. Showcase your project. Build something cool, a simple prediction tool or a mini app. Share on social with hashtag TechAIVision. We'll feature standout projects in upcoming videos.